Okay, here's a different location for us today. We're out here on a boat with Salty Farmer John E. And we're looking at some of the work that he's done. Uh, these are stained glass inserts that go into the sleeping bunk on sailboats and yachts and things like that. And uh, the really cool thing about these is that each unit is custom made. And uh, if you take a look at them, they're actually mounted to the portholes uh, using a uh, silicone adhesive. So if you ever actually needed to get them out, you could get them out. But they add a lot of privacy to the forward berth, which is really nice. But they still allow light uh, to come through. So you've always got light uh, up here in front. Okay, let's go and we'll talk to Salty Farmer Johnny. Oh, it's Salty Farmer Johnny. Hey, folks, how are you doing? Okay, what are you up to today? Um, what I'm doing is the owner of this boat has graciously allowed me to stay here, and in return, I'm going to glass all his windows. Uh, things are getting a little chaotic on the farm. Batman's running around drinking tea all day as the Mad Hatter, and then he's up all night preaching about how the tea will help people with cancer and stuff like that. But anyway, this is the technique to make portal prisms. You put a piece of paper over the opening and with a lead like a pencil or this is lead cane you trace the size of the window and then you take it out you measure it top or bottom top you cut it to this and you get it to me along with the design you want and I could put it together now this tracing would give you the exact size of that porthole Yeah, it, it, when I get done with the scissors and cutting this, it should fit right in there and then I'll build the window to that. Yep. These windows are made for this particular boat's bunk quarters. It's a little bit bigger here, so what I would do is just enlarge it to this. I can uh, elaborate on that, make these larger, or start from scratch. These I take with me when I go down to Florida and stuff like that because they're a nice size to fit in the carryalls on planes and things like so that. So basically any place where there's water, where there might be yachts or boats um, yeah. large enough to have sleeping quarters and so on, you would uh, you uh, have these with you. This one, this is the uh, Baroque glass. It's B-A-R-O-Q-U-E. There's like 17 different colors here. This is a one piece. Naturally this would be a little bit cheaper than the custom pieces. Uh, years ago, uh, a rule of thumb for stained glass was about four dollars a piece of glass would cover the cost and the labor of doing it. So you know if you count the pieces here you would get an idea of, of how much it's going to cost to have it done. And because I have a pension I don't necessarily need to be paid. Uh, I'd love to come down in winter along the coast of the Caribbean and things like that and just make these for people in their boats. And it, it's like I said, now this is done. I've got the template for this window. Eventually, to size, this will fit right in here. All right, let me get in on that just to see how it looks with the light coming through it. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's private and then it, see how it, it, it has a lip here? This, this yep. could be siliconed yeah. or some kind. And then if you want the window open, it would just go up. Okay. And then okay. at the end, when you want to sell the boat, you just pop these out. There's a technique with paper clips. You just bend one of the things over and put it in there like that. So you score the, the silicone when you want to leave and pull it out. And okay. these will, uh, like they say, they're, they're protected. And um, they, any design you want. Uh, basically, about $4 a piece, you would figure, cost of materials and labor. And, heck, because I have a pension, I'll do it uh, just to sail around the Caribbean with you. you All know? right. Well, Salty Farmer John E., those are pretty impressive looking units you got there. Yep. Oh, yeah. Now, I got one question for you, Salty Farmer John E. Oh, yeah. I said, well, I see it's getting a little bit rough here, too, but uh, the question is, on that shirt you got on today, uh -huh. uh, I don't see any writing on that or anything. What's uh, that all about? I had to go through customs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you, Salty Farmer Johnny.